if we're to function well in life or learn from our experiences or sustain any kind of deep mindful presence of mind we got to get control of our attention which is also in addition to being like a spotlight it's like a vacuum cleaner because what we rest our attention upon is the front end of who we become for better or worse because in terms of the phrase, fancy phrase alert, experience dependent neuroplasticity, the ways in which our brain is changed by our experiences, experiences begin with and involve what we are paying attention to. And we have a brain that is very prone to paying attention to things that are upsetting, stressful, worrisome, hurtful, irritating, sad, and so forth, or which are addictive and lead to addictions, drivenness, and overconsumption. So it's really important to be able to regulate where your attention is resting, because that's who you are becoming. It's said sometimes, you are what you eat. Really, you are what you pay attention to. Bit by bit, synapse by synapse, weaving the residues of what you're paying attention to into your brain, into your being, and especially with a bias toward internalizing the negative. So it's especially important to be able to rest your attention on what's useful and pull it away from what's not. That's actually, if you think about it, the essence of autonomy. It, steadiness of mind, the fundamental capacity to regulate attention moment by moment. It's easy to regulate attention for a second or two, or five or 10 maybe, but people tend to really lose it after half a dozen seconds which is really remarkable to appreciate. So if we are to um, have any kind of autonomy or any kind of self-direction, we have to get control of our attention. And in a culture that is doing everything it can to make us more distractible and more uh, caught up in habitually chasing one shiny object after another. So, Steadiness of mind, and in a sense, training and steadiness of mind, is a kind of cultural disobedience. It pushes against the stream that draws us into distractibility and a kind of jackrabbity attentional system.